Oh, man. Some years, spring needs a little nudge. I'm trying to find home plate here in the snow. Right there? A wake up. 90 feet. A kick in the grass. But Elk River now has proof if you plow it, spring's disciples will come. I mean, this is like the home opener, right? Right, just not the home opener. You're thinking. Oh, they'll be running for home, all right. 384 times. We got Sandlot Marathon. The Sandlot Marathon, 26.2 miles. Round a baseball diamond. Left hand turns. Look, another left hand turn. Here we go. Left hand turn. <laughs> we got another one coming up here. Left hand turn. <laughs> Jody Hollenbach is among 37 marathoners spread across two fields. That way, that way. With a half marathon and a 5K taking place on a third. Yes, you, Jody. Woo! Why? Why not? <laughs> That's more or less what the organizers thought when they came up with this. You know, any idiot can run a marathon. Um, you know, it takes a special kind of idiot to run the Sandlot Marathon, and so that's kind of who we have out here today. Mark Smith and Matt McCarty are both runners and baseball fans who dared to ask, what if? The last place runner and the first place runner are never more than, you know, 180 feet from each other. There's not, not, not another race where you get that much time spent with the leader. Still, a Sandlot Marathon is not without challenges. That ship reader, tested on a spinning ceiling fan, records each runner's trips around the bases. Here we have to keep track 384 times. <laughs> it's high tide. This is probably the least amount of work I've ever had to do to spectate a distance race. There's some that took it all to heart and they're in their little baseball outfits. Way to go, Amanda! Nice job! Woo! It's a uh, Rockford Peaches, Dottie Henson baseball uniform from the movie League of Their Own. Amanda Miller skirted puddles as the course made its spring change from ice to soup. Uh, doesn't take long to lose the, the feeling in your feet. <laughs> Amanda, take heart. Everybody in. A baseball-themed marathon. Seventh inning stretch. Three strikes here. Uh, comes with an intermission. Uh, Get back in the game! Get back in the game! And also, unfortunately, energy drinks. Cheers! Spiked with hot dog juice. Oh, that's oh. disgusting. Oh. Long Minnesota winters have a way of bringing out our crazy. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Get some sun, get some water, get some mud, make them feel like boys of summer out here today. After all, <laughs> summer nice. is just around the corner. Way to go, Amanda! Woo! Boyd Hoopert, Carol Evan News. Elk River. That was something. <laughs> Indeed it was. This marked the Sandlot Marathon's second year. The first was a small affair with just a handful of runners who soon realized that they were onto something. I'd like to see next year's. If you would like to join the fun next year, we've left a link with more information at care11.com. You know, at least there's no hills. Although I would yeah. think your body would really hurt after turning left all 1,200 times or whatever. It looks like a ton of fun. Totally. It really does. And I bet you it gets so big next year, they're going to have to expand to several different fields. You get yeah. a hot dog in the middle. Yeah, well, hey, you need the salt, <laughs> right? Better you than need. the hot dog yeah. juice. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs>